What's up guys? We are on the road again this morning for another tournament. I'm on my way to Laurel Lake, Fish USA Bass, and it's the final tournament of the kind of spring division down there for the year. Uh, Sean is not with me this morning. He is actually fishing his BFL at Cumberland today. So we want to wish him good luck. Uh, we did fish in our, you know, by the time you see this, you'll have done seen most of the Cumberland video that we did. Uh, we had a pretty good day. We found a bunch of fish on the beds. Uh, still only got seven plays, but we had just a little over 10 pounds. Uh, had a couple of opportunities there. We probably could have had a little bit more weight, but uh, we couldn't capitalize on those fish. But I uh, don't oh, know, it's still a pretty good day. Uh, I, you'll probably notice I didn't put up the pan fishing video. Uh, and uh, all I can say is it was a little bit of a disaster. And uh, this little clip right here will sum it up about how my day went. But anyway, after all that, uh, Nicholas did win his entry, or I should say my entry fee money back. I don't know if there was any other kids in there, it was 15 or under, but uh, he caught two little uh, bluegill and he won his money back, his entry fee money back. So he was happy about that, but. Uh, we will be fishing another panfish tournament, I think in June, maybe, on Beaver Lake. Uh, that's like an hour and 20 minutes from my house, so. But uh, we're gonna be uh, trying it again. Hopefully it'll go better. Hopefully we'll be a little better prepared. Cause uh, I just, I don't think uh, I was prepared enough for that. And I was exhausted cause I'd fished the day before, so. But anywho, uh, Josh Adams is fishing with me this morning. Uh, I called and hit him up, see if he was busy. He agreed to fish with me, so we're going to stop, swing by Saddlebrook Outdoors and pick him up. And then uh, we're going to hit the lake. We're running a little bit behind. We won't get to the lake until about 6.30. Blast off is at 7. So uh, we're kind of in a rush. So I will see you guys on. Started and if not, look, our bluegill. <laughs> he wants some. Uh... I hope this don't turn into one day where they just won't freaking eat nothing. Oh my god, it came off. Oh. Hundred percent of fish, babe. That's a big ass log right there. That looks like a bed right there. Right at the end of this log right here. You see it right there? Of course it helps if I can get it over. It came out though, but I swear I think it was about. I mean, if I was fishing deeper, I might throw a bigger one. But... Kidding me. 
I figured for sure there'd be a fish laid up in there. I figured sure there'd be a fish laid up in there. like let the battery charge while the boat was running <laughs> but i didn't get a waterproof switch because they're hard to find and that on that side behind that panel it's so shallow you can't have a very big switch on it oh, what you think? i see it he come up there and nosed on it and left it that's what i'm saying that's what they would do you just got to find the bait that they want oh is that not a no, I'm not. day. Of course, right after they get done spawning. They should be eating. They, sh they should be, but I guess some of them are so tired and wore out from... Next week, these fish will be on. I do think this looks too good for there not to be a fish in here. <laughs> or a snag. <laughs> or a snag. Snaggy snag. I want to catch one. Oh, look, look, look right there. He's just swimming out here like I told you I was a snagger. Son of a buck. Oh, he came out. That stupid thing. I should throw that wagon rig in there first, probably. There's some critters in the woods. I don't know where it went to, here I'm going to cast back here in the back of this. I swear it makes me think I should throw a fluke. But I don't know if they'd eat it either. <sighs> where them suckers go? I'll try this real quick. Let me see how this looks with this weighted hook. Probably not too good. Come right out of there. I might have to take the weight off of it.
one of them folks. Oh. <laughs> Scare them off. Like we're small ain't scared of them off, maybe they can one. Huh? You got a net? Or got a fish? Yeah. Got a net. What the hell is mate? Oh my god. Oh my god, it came off. That was a good one too. Yeah. <sighs> what was that on? I did that last weekend, but I had a definite, you know what I'm saying? A definite pattern to run, and it just don't seem to be the case this week. That last tournament we fished, we figured out what they wanted. Well, that's what we did, like right off the bat, and as soon as we found them couple on the bed, that's what we started doing. And Ain't happening today, though. Say, ain't happening today. Well, I mean, it seems like everything we've seen has been back up in the Pocket, but they won't eat nothing. Kind of thought that was a fish for a minute. Those are wood ducks, ain't they? I guess. I don't know the difference. Are they black? No, they got a green head. Oh, those are my What the? See right there, you want? Huh? Yep. Right there's your one. Get my gun. Oh, there's a wood duck up in that tree. No, that's a crow. There's my ally. Watch that fish that crow's getting. There's a fish keeps popping up there and that crow was getting him. Watch it, watch it, watch it. No, that's a baby duck. I bet it is. Or a snake. No, it is a baby duck, isn't it? It's a little baby duck and birds are trying to get it. Where's the duck's mama? Where'd it go? What's going on up there? <laughs> they getting down the business? God dang! <laughs> is that birds or fish? It's birds. I, I thought it was that poor man fell out of that kayak. What are they doing? They're having this some fun. It looks that way. <laughs> it's like Chris Aldane that day. He found that baby Canadian goose. Yeah. It got attacked by the hawk. Did you see that video? Uh, and it mangled its leg. Uh. <sighs> yep, it's lost its mama. Up. We kind of hit it. They're coming. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. I think he's scared of that rod. Baby duck. Come here. 
That's like box you Come here. Cannot believe this. This is just insane. Just freaking insane. What in the world? Freaking fishing line. Is that your line? No. Damn, dude, I thought I had one. Literally thought I had a fish. I was like, what in the world? And that line is freaking. That's a damn stretchy good line. I know that because it won't work. I got excited. Cannot believe this, dude. This is crazy. <sighs> Lord have mercy. I just don't understand it. <sighs> I throw brush hogs, worms, drop shots, flukes, swim baits. He's got him one. A freaking decent one, too. Oh, look, 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 oh, 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 it come right off the bank. Huh? That fish come right off the bank right there. I wonder what he's throwing. I can't tell. That fish came right off the bank. It was right on the bank. I just went straight down. Huh? <sighs> Oh, this is crazy. <sighs> Freaking crazy. Try to get that one. Uh, which one? The one that was on bed. Where? That corner. The one that was actually locked on. So go around and see if we can catch it and maybe get lucky that it's 15 inches or a 12 inch protection. It looked like a spotted bass. I went one right back up under that log. Oh, net, 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 net. Feels like a decent one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh my! It come off, right? God, God. It's not our day. Yeah, it's not it's not our day. Oh my God! You got to be freaking kidding me! Joking me, dude. God. <laughs> I didn't 
couldn't say the F word. You got caught him. Oh my god, that was a good fish. That's two weeks in a row. Oh my god, I can't believe that. What time is it? 1.30. Oh, frick, it's gonna take us that long to freaking uh, trawl back out of here. Well, by the time we travel back out of here and idle around it, our fish busting up there. Oh my God, dude, that makes me sick. Oh, God almighty. I really want the fish all the way back here, too. Today kind of sucked. Uh, I don't know, these fish were weird down here today. They, uh, put a lot of them cruising the bank and stuff. We had uh, two good bites, but uh, unfortunately we couldn't get either one up in the boat. I don't know. Uh, it's water right now. It's almost 74 degrees. So, you know, logic would have you think that most of the fish are done bedding. We've seen a lot of empty beds. We've seen a couple that looked like they were kind of in the process of it, like they were locked on, but they just didn't seem to want to bite them. So. Unfortunately, our goal of uh, not zeroing in a tournament uh, is over. So it's time to regroup and move on. Time to regroup, start over next weekend. I don't know if Sean and I was gonna fish Harrington or Cumberland, but hopefully, we can get some, uh, get some going again, get squared back away, get regathered and refocused and get back on some fish for you guys. You know, it is getting to be summertime. Water warming up, things get kind of tough, especially with all the traffic pressure on the lake. So it is not gonna be easy, but we are gonna regather ourselves and get back on the water next weekend and hopefully can catch you guys some fish. But I hope you enjoyed this video. It's going to be a rather short one. But anyway, guys, till next time, too. See you again. Keep casting. I'll see you on the next one.